another episode in the Decentraland Builder series with the wearables. Um, we did a wearable Wednesday yesterday, so I'm just going to do two recap videos on the two lessons that we learned and uh, kind of go from there. So the first lesson we're going to do is in wearable Wednesday, I kind of showed how you could do a texture as a flat texture and then have a texture glowing on top of that. So if you wanted a texturized shirt and then your logo glowing, this is the way you would do it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my upper body. I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to go into face mode up in our left hand corner. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to tries to quads. And what I'm going to do now is this is a little trick to select everything without rotating all the way around to start selecting your faces. So I'm going to fix my mouse because the Apple mouse sometimes does this. There we go. I'm going to go into wireframe mode. So up in the right hand corner, it can let us go to wireframe mode. And I'm just going to select the area we want the t-shirt to be. And as you see now, it selected all the faces. Just because it, has, it was in wire mode, so we can select all. It's just a little trick. Um, so we're going to go back to Y negative mode. We're going to go over to our color palette and add a new texture. So we're going to do what we usually do, go down to the base color, hit this dot, go to image texture, we're going to upload our first image. Um, let's get that guy. So this is the background of our t-shirt. So we're going to go hit assign. And now if we pull up the UV editor. So if we pull up our toolbar in the bottom hand corner, there's a little clock in the corner. You want to turn it to UV editor. And you can see now that we have a t-shirt down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this stuff. We can either select and drag or we can hit A. And then we're going to hit S to size up. So now we can see this front of the t-shirt on our left side. So we're just going to make sure that's about the size we want it for our logo. All right, just about there. So as you see, we have loaded up our first texture. This is our texture that's going to be our base color that is not glowing. So now if we go back into that same texture, let's make name that um, flat base with glow. So I'm just going to remember, always name your textures so you remember what they are. So we've already uploaded the base color, so now let's go down to emission. So we've played around with this in previous episodes. Let's hit this dot again and go to image texture. Instead of opening the same image, we are going to open our logo image now. So I'm going to open up the HK t-shirt logo. As you see, it throws the logo right on top of it already. Um, if we go into realistic mode, you can see it's already glowing but watch this we're gonna flip around make sure that oh there's a section right there we're gonna highlight by just left clicking and dragging and we're gonna highlight that section we're just gonna make sure that we get that out of there there we go just sized it down a little and it looks like everything else is pretty good so now what we can do is we can play around with this emission strength so if we went down to like 0.5 you know that's gonna be pretty bright if we went down to point two it's just gonna be bright enough you know in blender it's not gonna look like much in world it's gonna look more like this um, it just kinda of makes it look like two textures on top of each other but you're actually using one one full texture with emission so that's kinda of how we do the the flat color with the glow on top I hope this helps you guys out and stay tuned for the next episode from the recap from Wearable Wednesday. Thank you guys.